In this question, we know Chris's savings during a given period, and we want to know Chris's earnings. Let's dive into the statements, evaluating them separately first. First, statement one. If Chris's earnings amounted to X dollars, then what statement one is telling us is that he spent one third X on rent. After doing so, he'll have the total amount minus that amount, so he'll have X minus one third X left. And of that portion, he saved one quarter. So the amount that he saved was one quarter times the quantity X minus one third X, and we know that amount from the question. That amount is 400. Therefore, we have an equation with one variable, so it will be solvable for x. That means statement 1 gives us sufficient information to answer the question. Let's turn to statement 2. It is not so generous with information. It doesn't even mention earnings, what we are looking for. It introduces an irrelevant comparison between his savings and loan payments, which we know nothing about. If we wrote an equation, it would have a bunch of variables, not one. So this statement is insufficient. The correct answer is A.